professional, not a professional, not a professional, just a really enthusiastic amateur. Another day, another, <laughs> another crew neck sweater. And what are we talking about? Trash. All right, fam, let's do this. Oh golly, this isn't even straight. Amateur antics continue apace. Hey guys, let's talk garbage. <laughs> it's that time of year again. Let's talk some empties. It's one of the uh, few video projects I actually completed um, in the last year. And as I've kicked off my project's pan and I've uh, filmed an update earlier this week about just doing more video content, I figure this is thematic. Let's stick with it. I'm nosy. And I really want to see what people use up and throw out over a calendar year. So let's dive into my big old bag of trash. I've got my makeup empties in front of me and... Shame. Okay, so let's dive in. Um, I used up two perfumes this year. This is A Thousand and One Nights by Sweftoft. Sweatoft? Sweetoft? It's Swedish. Um, I talked about my recent love for rose perfumes. This is a really good example of one. It was luxurious. It was rich. It was decadent. It was beautiful. I also talked about uh, perfume hound bestie Sarissa. This Par Moi de Parfum is a beautiful perfume that I picked up with her again when we were in Paris. So uh, just proof that my goals are achievable. That I am not ridiculous. It is doable. This is the Chypre Mojo. Uh, 45 beautiful stuff I got so many compliments every time I wore this it was incredibly niche find we quite literally stumbled across it um, just wandering down the streets of Paris and we both picked up some bottles this was mine it is well loved oh I would absolutely buy it again in a heartbeat but I don't know if I can find a stockist anywhere in the UK and as has been detailed discussed my no by year is commencing. So, oh, and uh, full face today is absolutely all of the products that I went through of my Project Pan video, which I did last time. So, you know what's on my face. Um, what else have I used up this year? Um, let's talk lip products. Only one, um, but I think this is actually a repeat from a previous year empty. This is the Victoria Beckham uh, gloss in poolside. Beautiful, beautiful neutral. Um, and I have another one of these already in my collection, so not surprised to see this used up. More Victoria Beckham. Uh, I'm consistent. Um, I used up one of her uh, Cheeky Posh Cream uh, Blush Sticks. This is in the shade Playground. Shocking surprise again. It's a beautiful neutral. Used it to the last drop. It's gone. More Victoria Beckham. I used two of her mascaras this past year, both of them Future Lash. I'm pretty sure this is another repeat uh, offender for me in um, makeup empties from last year. Used up two of these and one travel sized Rare Beauty uh, mascara. This one lived in my work bag and so you know, it was very useful. So three mascaras in a year, two and a half, if I'm being honest. Not enough, again, for eye health, but here we go. More eye stuff. I thought I only used up two, but I actually used up three of the M Cosmetics Micro Fluffed Brow Cream in Universal Taupe. I really love this. I'm pretty sure it's a repeat offender. This was another Sarissa recommendation well loved, well used, moving on to different brow products before I buy anything else, but would absolutely buy again, as you can see. Um, one cream eyeshadow, you can't tell very easily, but if you, you look at where the smears are, this is the Lisa Eldridge Liquid Lurex eye, cream eyeshadow that I talked about briefly um, in one of my previous videos. It is gone. I was scraping the edge of the container and there's a bit in the bottom that is still um, in there because it dried up, but I used this thing up. I don't remember the last time I used a full liquid eyeshadow all the way up in this way, so that feels pretty good. 
not tons of makeup this year, but enough, enough for me to feel happy and content about it. We're gonna move now on to my, my true shame. This massive bag of body, bath, and skincare that I got through this year. Brace for impact. Okay, wow. I've just spread everything out in front of me. I'm feeling a little shame. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, we're, 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 we're diving in. We're diving in. This is all of the stuff that I used up this year. Let's start with, ooh, let's start with hair. So um, I have a few, we'll start with some of these smaller ones, travel bits and pieces. Um, I did traveling this year. So picking up some travel sized uh, shampoos and hair styling products uh, served me very, very well. Um, all of these are travel or mini sizes of JVN, so Jonathan Van Ness's hair, uh, hair care brand. I love his stuff. I use it pretty regularly now and I've recommended it to a lot of people. I find it's really, really good at what it does and I enjoy it. Um, particularly he, the air dry cream. Um, if you want to, as it says, air dry your hair, use a diffuser, that works really well. And I use so many others of his products. I haven't used up some of my favorites yet, but I'm sure you'll be seeing them in next year's empties. So, bunch of JVN. Uh, couple more travel sized. Um, <laughs> OGX, Argan Oil brand, or a sub brand rather. These are lovely, picked them up for travel. And two more smaller bits, Living Proof Perfect Hair Day uh, Shampoo, lovely, and Philip Kingsley's Elasticizer. This is a really nice product actually, and I bought it in a much, much larger size that will take me forever to get through, so I don't, <laughs> I mean, it's like this. It's huge. It's it's ludicrous. There's no excuse for it. But I liked it. I used it. I bought more. Ooh, this had a bit of a moment. Uh, Wonder Water from L'Oreal. I bought this because uh, Sally Hughes, the beauty journalist, really, really recommended it. No tizzy. <laughs> oh, she wants to eat the trash so bad. Um, this was supposed to uh, smooth your hair really, really intensively. It did work, but I only bought one bottle of it because I did, I just didn't love the idea of using that many active chemicals in my hair, which is very, very fine anyway. So thought it best to not aggravate an already tenuous situation, but worked great. Um, ooh, okay. This is a bit ridiculous and it's also a little bit deceitful. These are two filthy, dirty bottles of Kiehl's Amino, uh, acid conditioner and the olive fruit oil shampoo. The reason I say deceptive is I actually finished both of these off quite a while ago and then I used the containers and just refilled them at a Planet Organic for um, where you can buy product by the liter. So I actually have used these up a couple of times in that sense um, and I just can't justify keeping these grody old bottles anymore so it's time to recycle them. Okay, well, while we're in the shower, um, I got through three bottles of Sanex this year, <laughs> um, which is just a uh, do, 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 uh, body wash. Um, and I say I, but Jeff helped. Um, we both got new tattoos this year, and my tattoo artist particularly recommends this brand, uh, the Sanex Zero, especially for tattoo aftercare. So. We have new ink, and that's why we used up so many of these. Uh, what else? Uh, more normal body care. This is part of the Space MK um, in-house range. Just body wash was lovely. Uh, ooh, <laughs> another one uh, from Kiehl's, uh, similar to the shampoo. Used it up, refilled it again um, at a um, Planet Organic. And the bottle is just too gross to keep keep uh, to keep in my house any further, so it's time to let it go. But this it this was originally the grapefruit cleanser, which smelled divine. Uh, two from Necessaire, which is a brand that I really really love. It's really really luxe but simple. This is the body serum. 
Uh, I'm not sure that I would recommend this necessarily. I got this because I have incredibly dehydrated skin, not just dry, but dehydrated. I have to scrub intensely uh, to get rid of dead skin. I shed it a lot very easily. Um, and keeping it moisturized, particularly in the winter, is always hard. I thought I'd give this a go. It's it's fine, but if I'm going to use serums, I'm going to use them on my face, neck, décolletage. Um, I don't need to be spreading this over my shins. So while it was lovely and I guess, it, yeah, it was effective. It helped um, give me an extra layer of moisture. I just wouldn't spend this money kind of as Carolyn Hiren says, tits and down. <laughs> Um, but speaking of exfoliation, uh, Necessaire also does a body exfoliator and this I would buy again because it's cheaper, it lasts a long time and what I really need to do is get rid of old dead skin, not, you know, drench that old dead skin with serum. So love this and I think I have another one already on the go. Uh, ooh, here we go. I'm pretty sure that this came in my drug of choice, Beauty Advent Calendar. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It's a bit of a cult classic, but I wouldn't necessarily repurchase this. I was perfectly happy to get it in, uh, in this kind of deluxe sample size. I was happy to use it up and I'm happy to be done with it. I have so many other body creams that I'm gonna get through as a result of not purchasing stuff like this. Ooh, okay, so the, the fun stuff. Let's move on to ooh, cleansers. Um, as always, Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I got this uh, kind, which is a mix of um, micellar water and an oil kind of cleanser. I, the logic behind this was I really like bomb cleansers, as you will see. Um, particularly in fall winter or just when I have a lot more on my face that I want to take off. So I thought I would like this more than I did, but I, I got a smaller bottle than my normal size and I'm glad of that. I didn't love it. Um, it was, it also has a rose water scent, which I just didn't enjoy. So used it up, was happy to use it. Old reliable. I'm kind of shocked I don't have more of these this year, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I'm sure that I will <laughs> keep this going um, in 2024. Gorgeous stuff. Um, it's much cheaper than kind of the, the French pharmacy classic Bioderma. I love it. I'll keep using it. I like the pink cap personally. Um, other cleansers. Uh, again, ret returning champions. I have three of the fresh soy cleanser. Uh, one in the large jumbo size pump and two in the smaller tubes. Uh, I think, again, I purchased these for travel just when I didn't want to have a very, very large or um, airline restrictive size of things. This stuff is gorgeous. It's very expensive. So at the moment, I haven't replaced it since I used this up. I'm using some other stuff, some cheaper stuff. That works just as well but i would absolutely buy these again in the future they're gorgeous it's really really effective um jeff sometimes steals it when he's in the shower i begrudge him nothing it's it's great it's delightful i said i love bombed cleansers i have two this one is the versed cleansing bomb which is it was great um cheaper price point than something like the clinique um i don't remember if it's on par with something like the Sally Hughes one, which I think I used up last year, would absolutely buy this again. It was fantastic. If not for the fact that this Pharmacy's Green Clean, I love this. I love this. This is more expensive, mm, but it's, oh, it's beautiful. It's so, so good. Um, is that, I don't, I'm not going to go into the whole green, clean beauty thing. It's a bit of a rabbit hole and I'm not an expert. All I can say is that this stuff works. It takes off everything. Like most bombs, you know, you rub it onto your face, you massage it around, you add some water and it emulsifies on your face and everything comes off with it. It's fantastic. Waterproof mascara, no problem. Uh, heavy slap, not a problem. Um, Bright lipstick, not a problem. This stuff is fantastic. I already have another one of these um, 
in my, in my uh, bathroom right now. I will absolutely be repurchasing this as and when it's appropriate to do so within the rules of my replacement only no buy, but highly, highly recommend. Um, similar uh, to the Fresh, this was the Sally Hughes uh, Revolution um, Clean Sheet Morning Cleanser. Perfectly lovely, more of a gel-based sort of cleanser. Really, really liked it. Um, currently working through other stuff. May repurchase this in the future. But what it actually did more than anything is it rekindled my memory of the number seven, which is a British brand here that you can get at Boots. Um, their vitamin E gel cleanser. My nostalgia for that was <laughs> hit square in the face. Um, previous blog posts uh, on, my, on my other website uh, <laughs> goes into more detail, but I loved that stuff. And what this actually did was make me pine for that. So I, you know, replaced this with a tube of that when I ran out. So look for that next year. Okay, well, while we're talking about my face, let us talk moisturizer because, um, well, she's consistent. Actually, no, she's inconsistent because last year I told you about Augustinius Bader, the rich cream. I got a smaller deluxe sample size in yet, an, you know, my admin calendar. I told you that I liked it and I told you it was too expensive to buy and then I think Cult Beauty ran a really good promo, like 20% off or something like that, and I bought it. It's really good in cold weather, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm a hypocrite. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Mm. All right, more affordable, more justifiable. Uh, Sally Hughes, once again, I used her cream drench, uh, cream cleanser, not cleanser, my God, uh, <laughs> cream moisturizer, very lovely. Not my favorite though, because it had a medicinal smell, which I didn't jive with. So was happy to use, was happy to use up. Uh, Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. I think this also came in a beauty advent calendar. Um, this I really liked. It was incredibly light, very, very fluffy on the skin. Uh, was sad to see it go, but wouldn't repurchase this again just for the price point because... <sighs> Queen, goddess, legend, Carolyn Hirons. Uh, launched her beauty brand. Um, oh, I don't even remember when. Was it just this past year? I don't know. But she's been very judicious and slow about the product she brings out. She brought out a cream moisturizer. And I have been using nothing else since she launched it. I used up three. These are not cheap at all. She actually addresses this really, really nicely and well. Um, on her own Instagram or blog where she speaks to what it takes to produce um, a product like this when you are not a large conglomerate of brands like L'Oreal or you know, the, and the, all of the, the um, umbrella brands beneath that. What it takes to be a small British brand, what it takes to manufacture in controlled and consistent ways for the kind of formula she wants. I trust her as a voice in the industry, and I am happy to pay for smaller, particularly women founder led, owned and independent brands. Not everybody is in that boat. I completely realize it, but I appreciate that she realizes it too. That being said, I got through three this year. I fully expect to get through more in 2024. I love this. Uh, for me to repurchase something, um, I'm now on my fourth tub to be that consistent it's good. It's really, really good. If you can afford something like this, by all means, enjoy. You can also find delightful stuff and Carolyn Hirons herself would recommend a lot of other good products at drugstore price points. So it, if this is not your world, that's okay, but it is beautiful and I've enjoyed it and I will continue to enjoy it. Um, while we're talking about faces, let us go in to, oh, just golly, let's talk vitamin C. 
Um, I again two different price points. I have Sally Hughes Must See, and I have Summer Fridays CC Me Cream uh, CC Me Serum. Once again, love Sally Hughes. I like this product quite a bit, but I find the Summer Fridays more efficacious. Um, I don't have a vitamin C, I don't think, at the moment, and that's because I own too many serums and treatments, as you will see. Um, but if I were to repurchase one of these in the future, it would be the Summer Fridays. And I think, once again, we've got some returning champions. Garnier's Simple line is really, really good. Um, I used up two of the hyaluronic acid B5 serums, and I have another one in my, uh, cupboard at the moment. This stuff is fantastic, particularly for drugstore prices. It, it does exactly what you want it to, which is to add that layer of moisture in. I tried their vitamin B3 niacinamide. I liked it, not as much as the hyaluronic acid though, and that might be because this is what my skin actually needs. I mentioned it was dehydrated, but continue to really love and recommend this, particularly if you're a drugstore girly or boily? Boil? No. If you, regardless of your gender, <laughs> are a drugstore girly, this is really good. Um, highly recommend, will continue to use as and when, again, it is appropriate for me to purchase more. The Ordinary, uh, another niacinamide. Um, I'm looking at these right now. I haven't, I'm just comparing them. Uh, simple, it, again, has vitamin B3 and niacinamide. The Ordinary has niacinamide and zinc. I don't know if that is a better formula for me, but I prefer uh, the Ordinaries to Simple. So if I were to repurchase again, it would be this, but again, not at the moment. Ooh, these are, once again, Beauty Advent Calendar Finds uh, Hyaluronic <laughs> Serum from Dr. Barbara Strum. Whew, she's pricey. She's She's been here before. Hold, hold the phone on her, we'll come back to that. Really lovely product, very, very expensively formulated, however. So would I repurchase? Well, uh, yeah, I would, but I can't afford it, so I'm not going to. Um, similarly, Medicaid, C Terra Lux. This, this is good vitamin C. I don't know, I suspect, because vitamin C is you know, an unstable molecule, it can oxidize really quickly. I think the combination of the small size, the tinted bottle, the fact that, you know, you have to use it really quickly all really served me well in this respect. I definitely saw results from this, which was about the length of a skin, uh, skin cell turnover period. I loved this. Um, so, you know, I just said I would probably buy the Summer Fridays before over Sally Hughes. I would probably buy this over Summer Fridays, but the full bottle is much more expensive. So not at the moment, but perhaps in the future. <sighs> Dr. Barbara Strum, Sturm, Sturm, I'm so sorry. Not a professional, not a professional, not a professional, just a really enthusiastic amateur. Um, Dr. Barbara Sturm. I've used up these before. This is her Glow Drops. Uh, combination uh, moisturizing kind of ingredients and also the tiniest bit of sheen. This is a beautiful product. Um, I, this was another example, kind of like Augustinius Bader. I got it at significant discount, which is how I could justify it to myself, but I can't justify purchasing it again with my other kind of goals. So She's going in the bin reluctantly, but gratefully, and we'll see if we ever see her again, but it probably won't be for 2024. This is the Jordan Samuel Hydrate Mist. Gorgeous, exactly what it says. Used it up. Uh, mists are an interesting product. I have one more of them, the Chantecai Rosewater Mist, I think. Do you need them? I don't know. It really depends on your skin, your style, your preference of wearing makeup. I can't see myself buying another one after I use up the Chantecai, but you know, who knows? Was, was happy to use it. Happy it's used up. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, two more in the world of moisture. Again, travel sized and or advent calendars. These are both from Sisley. Um, and they're both from Le Rose Noir <laughs> um, brand. Uh, oof, 
I can't even make fun of it because I have a full size version of one of these products that I'm currently using up and it will take me a while to use and it's very expensive and it's very, very good and it works really well. But if you want to give uh, expensive brands a try, by all means, go for minis, whether that's Sephora, Ulta, Space NK, Cult Beauty, wherever you can find them. It's a really good way to try something to see if it's actually worth your money. Um, these were great, love them. Again, I'm a, I'm a liar and a hypocrite. I'm a liar, I've lied to you. Um, <laughs> I talked again about Augustinius Bader and how I don't particularly love oils. I still don't particularly love oils, but I did use up another one of the, I think this is key, smaller travel sizes. This was a beauty advent calendar piece. Um, and the way that I found I, that it worked best for me is if I would put a couple of the drops of the oil mixed into the rich cream, and then I would get a really, really luxurious duvet for my face. Again, wintertime stuff. It was lovely. Oils for me, I've discovered work best when, you know, combined and emulsified with moisturizers. It was lovely. I think I have at least one more of these, probably from another beauty advent calendar, again, in a smaller size. I can't recommend this for the price point, but if you, if you get it in some way, enjoy it. It's fine. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, well, speaking of, this is more of a body uh, product than it is for me a face because and I think I mentioned this last year, I don't love oils. They they just, they don't work for me. And it's, be, it's because I have such dehydrated skin that requires so much exfoliation to get at the, the living vibrant skin underneath. I have to take off a whole layer of skin before moisture can actually benefit me. So I only used up one oil this year. This was something that had been in my uh, bathroom cabinet for a while. It is the Biosance 100% Squalane oil. It was fine, but for me, again, I had to go through so many body skin prep steps before I could see the benefit of this that I'm not sorry to see it go and I don't see body oil staying in my life. Um, ooh, here we go. Two, oh, two lovely products, both very expensive, Sunday Riley. This is the autocorrect brightening eye contour cream. Once again, I think I got this in a gift or an advent calendar or something. This is, I believe, a smaller size than normal. Um, it's really, really effective. It has caffeine in it, which we, we, we've discussed the, the eye, under eye situation. Um, eye creams are controversial in the beauty world. Some people swear by them. Some people swear they're scams. I happen to like using them, um, particularly if they have that kind of enlivening caffeine <laughs> puffing <laughs> effect, but just with my other stated goals, this is not going to be something that I'm going to be spending money on in the coming year. This one's sad. This one hurts. This is the Good Genes All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. And the reason it hurts is because this particular formulation is not available in the UK and the EU, which have, to be fair, much more stringent and strict laws governing beauty formulas. I'm not sure what that says about, you know, the United States. A cut... Huh. We're a land, we're a land of many beautiful contrasts and conflicts, aren't we? Um, but this is the original formulation, the lactic acid serum. I got this on one of my previous visits to the States, which I haven't been to in years now. Um, oh golly, this is so good. This, this stuff works. If I do go back to the States or if I have someone come visit me from the States, I might ask them to ship me, um, uh, one of these in their suitcase with them. It's fantastic. I love it. I would absolutely repurchase this again if it exists in the UK, which it doesn't. So I must find other things instead. Buy good jeans. Two more. These are kind of weird packages to show you, but one of the things that I really like about Carolyn Hiron's brand is that she really focuses on using package over and over again. Um, so this actually, um, oh, I don't even have the bottle because I have that stored somewhere. She came out with two different retinol products at two different strengths. So um, these are the originals. This was the retinol one, which is the starter retinol, and this is the retinoid two. 
um, which is the higher strength version. Apparently she's working on a third formula, which will be interesting to see. I've used up two, and the reason I don't have the bottle in front of me is because I'm keeping it for when I'm going to refill that in the future. I will absolutely repurchase this. I have other retinoid, retinol, uh, retin-A uh, products to get through first, but um, happy to be recycling these two and will absolutely be purchasing from her again in the future, particularly as I approach my 40s. Retinol is important. Um, ooh, speaking of travel and travel size, <laughs> I love minis. I love minis, particularly if you do any kind of traveling. Um, they can be so, so useful. So here are my collection of minis that have come to me, again, out of the, the pick and mix at Space NK, or possibly some kind of gift with purchase, advent calendar, or whatever sort of situation. Um, I got three from Tatcha, which is a very, very expensive brand, but uh, became available here in the UK recently. I would never buy one of these uh, full size or full price. It, it's too, too, too much to justify. But again, for travel, two weeks in Scotland, for instance, when I don't want to take whole big bottles of things, this kind of stuff is perfect. Uh, weekend trip to Amsterdam with Hannah, this was perfect. I have two of the dewy skin cream and one of the water cream. They're lovely. Wouldn't spend full money on it. Ooh, I have, ooh, another Sunday Riley Mini. This is the CEO of Vitamin C uh, Cream. Just a moisturizer, very nice. Ah, La Mer. This is some expensive, fancy, rich person stuff. Um, was happy to get it in a mini. Not a product I would ever purchase full price. Mm, Drunk Elephant. This is a polypeptide cream. Perfectly lovely. Don't think I would purchase this again. There's other stuff that I like. Before we finish off, my darlings, my dubs. I've ranted you before about SPF. I'm an SPF adherent. I apply it religiously. I reapply it during the day. SPF, wear your SPF. This is an old standby. You guys have seen it from me before. You will see it again. This is the Thank You Farmer Sun Project Water Cream. Beautiful, beautiful Korean, uh, Korean brand. I have turned so many friends onto this. It's not even funny. I will absolutely buy more of these in the future. I, I think I have another one in my uh, uh, bathroom cupboard as we speak. Can't say enough good things about it. It's so elegant. You can layer stuff on top of it. It works. It's so good. Highly recommended. Um, not new to me, but an equal contender, it turns out, this year, Ultra Violet. This is an Australian brand. Australians also know their SPF. Those people do not mess around. I ended up using four this year. Um, we'll start with the one that I didn't like the most. This is the Queen Screen, which is a, a, a serum kind of sunscreen. Where you, you use the dropper to, you know, get a liquid in your hands and put it all over your face. Surprisingly, I didn't like that as, as much. I, which, you know, we're always learning. I thought I would like a serum style SPF a lot more than I did. It's not for me. Um, it wasn't my favorite. Used it up because it works. The formula is perfectly fine. It's just discovered not what I prefer. I really prefer more a, a lotion base. So the Thank You Farmer or the Supreme Screen Hydrating Facial Sunscreen. You can see I've gotten through three of those. Um, I think if you add everything up, it's just over uh, one SPF product every other month, which you know I think speaks to how dedicated I am about this. Wear your sunscreen, people. If you're going to spend money on something, spend money on some the stuff that you're going to use every day. Neither the Thank You Farmer nor the Ultra Violet is the most expensive nor the cheapest product. Um, they're, they're mid-range. They're worth it. I will always buy these if I can. They're so good. Highly recommended. Finally, the less than glamorous side of things. This isn't even all of them, but once again, I share <laughs> um, deodorant with my husband. I use the men's stuff. I'm sure that there were more that just, you know, the 
didn't escape my clutches, but three of the full size of those, one travel, um, another uh, Nivea travel. I think this was in my gym bag, actually. Uh, ooh, uh, not cute, but you know, important. Let's, let's be honest. Uh, foot spray <laughs> also lived in my gym bag, just kind of necessary. I've been much more dedicated and better about exercising, um, in the last half of this year. So this just kept shoes and feet in a better state than they would otherwise have been. Um, oh, and finally, one hand cream. I've spoken before, I don't love hand creams. I, I don't love the sensation of oily, viscous stuff on my hands. I don't even like washing pots and pans, like in soapy, greasy, dirty kitchen water. Jeff has to wash pots and pans. I will not do it. Um, <laughs> so I only got through one of these this year. Um, I have another tube, uh, which I will continue to, you know, chip away at steadily, but I don't love hand creams. I, I wear them because particularly in the winter, I need them because of eczema, um, because of cold damage. Um, my nails and nail beds get really, really dehydrated and prone to ripping and tearing in ways that are painful. My stuff, this is fragrance free. It's very, very no, no frills. It's a little pricier because this is necessary again, but that gives me that kind of semi-lux experience that we all know that I'm a complete sucker for. So if I must use hand cream, I want it to be fancy and I want it to not smell like anything to get in my way. And there we have it. Those, that is my trash for 2024. I know, I know it's a lot. It's so much, but this is, this, this is what makes me happy. <laughs> it goes into self-care. And, you know, at the very least, if I spend money on this, at least I use it. You know, this is not like, this is not stuff that languishes in a drawer somewhere. And just despite seeing it all like this in one go at the end of the year, it's not like I'm buying these things by the armful every time I leave the house. You know, um, this is, a year's worth of purchasing and repurchasing and using up and using to the last drop. I really want to use up more makeup and hence my whole project pan situation with that. So I'm looking forward to seeing if I can beat this lot that I got through this year. I feel like it's a not insignificant amount because as discussed, makeup takes time to use up. Um, it's so interesting to me to contrast body care and makeup because you know, clearly I can get through too much, way, way, way too much. Yeah, trying to figure out how to wrap this up without, you know, absolutely sinking into shame over my consumption. But, you know, oh, <laughs> I've been honest about it. I'm a beauty addict. I enjoy this stuff. It makes me feel good. Um, and stuff like this is a good way to hold oneself accountable. You know, there's absolutely examples in here of money that I wouldn't spend again. Uh, but there's not really an example of money that I think was badly spent, if that makes sense, particularly again, if you're using it up to the last drop. So share, share your trash. I'm trash. I'm living in trash. We can be little raccoons together. Oh. <laughs> It's all in good fun. Tell me what you loved this year. What made you feel good? What made you feel like you were taking care of yourself? What made you feel like it was money well spent, regardless of whether it was five pounds or 50? Let's chat.